This is a quick review for the eye to eye eyeshadows from Trini London. Um, I would like to say in interest of clarity that currently there is a pop-up running, a Trini London pop-up running in London and I am working there but I'm working as a freelancer not as a sort of an employee of Trini London and this is an honest review um, although I did get given this for my kit so that I was competent to work in a store um, because it's quite an unusual product. These eyeshadows have really wowed me because I'm a massive fan of cream eyeshadows, as you know if you follow the blog. Um, but my cream eyeshadow pots, I love the paint pot from MAC and everything. Um, the consistency can sometimes be almost a bit sticky, a bit um, not quite creamy enough, um, which is why sometimes you get a better consistency in an eyeshadow pencil. These are the closest I can say, they are like the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, but in a pot. And all that you see of Trini whacking it on her face with her fingers, you can do that. You can put it on your face with your fingers, with a brush. Um, they are great. They have great colour payoff. They last all day um, and they suit everyone. And what I really think with this product especially she has managed to do is she has created a product that really for me is aimed at women of 40 plus I'd say. Now obviously women under 40 can wear this product but women under, I mean women under 30 can pretty much wear any product. The older you get the harder it is to find something that really suits you and that works on your skin and crappy eyelids are something I hear about an awful lot um, and I work on a lot and it is hard to get something that is easy for a non-makeup artist to use and this has completely nailed it. So there are 12 colours in these um, Trini London eye to eye pots. Um, and at first, when I first saw the range, I thought they were quite limited colours, they all look quite similar, but actually when you start working with them, they're all really different and they go from a kind of really silvery and goldy sheer colours, right down to Universe, which is quite a dark black. But they've all got shimmer in them, but they manage to be flattering on all skin tones. So when I have been working with Trini London, I have done all different skin tones, and all different ages and they've looked fab on everyone. So I'm going to show you the two that I really like wearing which are Magician and Lovers. These pots come individually and if you see Trini on Facebook or on Instagram you know that you make your own sack and they click together like that. These little pots are 18 pounds individually for the eyeshadows which is called eye to eye and you get four grams and they say that these should last approximately nine months with daily use so i'm going to be applying magician first and you can as she does you really can apply these with your finger or with a brush now i was a bit skeptical i did think you know every brand has a cream eyeshadow pot but what I've really noticed about these is the consistency is really fantastic and the finish so they're really flattering so then I'm going to put lovers in the inside corner now you know how I love lazy makeup this is the ultimate lazy makeup um, I really <clears throat> can't fault these. They're darker colours like this one, this one which is Universe and um, Emperor and Empress which are dark browns. You can use them with a pencil brush and use them as an eyeliner and what's so nice about this is um, for a lot of more mature skins an eyeliner is almost too harsh and I definitely have found it more and more myself that if you're trying to do a nice eyeliner with a pencil your wrinkles kind of get in the way and you get gaps. This doesn't happen. This just glides on so nicely. So that is my quick review of the eye to eye 
Eye Enhancer from Trini London. It's a massive hit for me, I love them. I think they're just a product that will work on anyone um, and give real confidence to a more mature skin. I'm really excited to use them. Um, and I just think they're fantastic and I, and I think they're really reasonably priced at £18 actually. Um, because as I said this will work, this will last about 9 months of daily use but if you're someone who doesn't wear it daily it's going to last a lot longer and I have confidence, although obviously I've only just started using them but I have confidence that they won't dry out. Um, obviously if you left them with the lid off for days and days and days they probably would but they're not going to just dry out through age so a huge thumbs up from me thanks so much for watching